Hello everybody, it's me, Refresh Broccoli here, and fucking exhausted, alright? Now, I know many of you probably don't care about what I do in my free time. I'm sure many of you probably don't care about this video at all, alright? But listen, hear me out, last night was one of the worst nights I think I've ever had in my entire life, alright? And here's why. I don't know if you know, you probably don't know, because I haven't told anyone, alright? There's a wasp's nest right outside my fucking window, alright? So last night... Uh, what, what happened was, I was sleeping inside, right, and uh, it was really hot, but I couldn't open any of the windows, right, somehow, a fucking wasp got in, I was fucking asleep, right, boiling to death in my bed, right, and then, the wasp gets in, fucking stings me in my sleep, I wake up, dripping with sweat, and I've got like two little bits of wasp poop in me or something, and I have to go and like wash out the venom, kill the fucking wasp, and then call the wasp man to come and kill all the wasps in the morning. I don't know if you know, but that was one of the worst nights ever, right? And then, in the fucking morning, I get woken up by some guy going like, brrr, 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 in the other fucking room, because they're redoing the bathroom, all right? I got absolutely no sleep, and I was attacked in my sleep, nearly died, all right? I probably did almost die, but, uh, you know, Google said that uh, a wasps can kill you, okay? So, uh, you know, as we know, Google is never wrong. So basically, I almost died last night and I got absolutely no sleep. So I am fucking exhausted. Honestly, it, it was a horrible night, all right? I'm sorry for the rant, but it was, it was a bad night. I'm sorry, I'm actually exhausted, all right? But anyway, thanks for coming along. Uh, today, we're talking about Ellen. Now, if you are lucky enough to not know who Ellen is, I don't know, you may have, like, amnesia, or you may just never have heard of Ellen, which is probably uh, one of the biggest blessings God could give you in this world. Or if you're, like, the biggest fucking Ellen fan uh, anybody has ever seen, all right? You've gone beyond the point of, like, insanity, all right? You're probably, you're just fucking insane at this point. Well, uh, if you're either of those people or anybody in between, I mean, if, if, if you're anybody, all right, chances are Ellen doesn't give a shit about you, all right? Because it turns out Ellen is actually an asshole who absolutely hates everybody. Obviously, this didn't come as much as a surprise to me because, look, she's a fucking Hollywood celebrity, all right? And we already know that like, most of these people aren't nice people. I'd say that 10% of these people are actually genuine people. I'd say someone like that is someone like Keanu Reeves or something who genuinely is just a nice person, all right? But then the, the, the other 90% are all just egotistical assholes who think the world resolves around them because, let's be real, it kind of fucking does. But the reason I think people are most shocked and annoyed about Ellen turning out to be a complete fucking fucktard is the fact that she pretty much preaches kindness like it's a year four fucking anti-bullying assembly. You know those assemblies where they like sing a fucking song or something and say, you know, words fucking hurt people, all right? They'd always take the kid who was bullied out of the assembly, you know? Uh, yeah, obviously I knew because I was that kid. <laughs> now, obviously, uh, people are, are really mad about Ellen uh, being an asshole, all right? And you know, there's so many fucking stories coming up about her, you know? People saying like, oh yeah, she called me fat. Uh, when was this? In the fucking 70s, all right? You, you decide to tell us all now? Yeah, apparently Ellen bullied this uh, guy she was like looking after when she was like 20 and uh, she, ju she just called him fat all the time, all right? Look, listen, if you're gonna bully somebody for being fat, you might as well come up with some creative names. The art of the bullying is one that isn't mastered by many. Come on, uh, Ellen is a comedian. You have to come up with something funny. I'll look up some, some names you can call fat people right now. All right, here we go. We've got fucking, we got fatty. That's a given, all right? Pre still pretty shit, but you know, it's it's all right, okay? King or lump. <laughs> I've never actually heard that one before, all right? Ellen should be taking notes, all right? Porker. Never heard that one. Very interesting one. Fatso. Pretty shit one. I'm not gonna lie. You can't just put so on the end and expect it to be insulting, all right? You got lardass, all right? Now, these obviously, these, these are, are, are pretty shit. I'm gonna say the best one was probably fucking lump. Someone, especially a child who is heavy. <laughs> like, come on, Ellen. You couldn't come up with any of these. You just had to settle for fucking fat. Like, I would have agreed with you if you called him a fucking lump. Like, that's fucking funny as shit. I know some of you may be thinking this is is kind of taking it a bit too far but listen i'm fucking skinny and when people call me skinny i can do fuck all about it because I, if i try and fight them they'll snap me in half all right i'm a fucking twig if you're like twice the size of somebody and they're calling you like fats mcgee or something all you can literally do is just like fucking pick them up or like jump on them or something like you can literally fucking floor them all right that's what my mate fucking did to a guy who took the mech out of him that's why i don't understand when like fat people are like oh look 
It's fucking bullying me. Like, you can go fucking body that guy if they're, like, smaller than you. It's like, why didn't this kid just, like, fucking jump on Ellen? Like, she would have fucking been crushed. She saved everybody. It would have been like killing baby Hitler. <laughs> Obviously, other stories have come out, like, which were pretty recent of Ellen, like, being mean to people. Like, she was mean to her fucking staff. Apparently, she'd never say hello to people who worked there. This is a story from, like, 1972. Like, two years before my own dad was born, all right? And now they're coming out and trying to say Ellen is a horrible person for something that happened, like, fucking 50 years ago. Like, I don't even care about the, the kid that bullied me when I was five anymore, all right? How do you still care about a 60-year-old that bullied you when you were 11? It's, tr it's truly baffling to me. Obviously, I'm not defending Ellen here. It's just like, why did, why did it take so long? Why should anybody care, right? You're just trying to dig up so much dirt on this person. Obviously, Ellen is still a shitty person today as well, but people are still trying to defend her, right? We can laugh about something that happened in, like, 1972, but this is, but she's still horrible to people now, in, like, 2020, like, 50 years later, right? And the people are still defending her, like this fucking guy, who brings up the, f the fucking shittest response anybody can ever say to try and defend themselves. In recent months, her character has been called into question. What do you say to those critics? Uh, I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing to them, really. I don't know who any of them are. I don't know if she knows who any of them are. You guys probably already know that I absolutely fucking hate this comeback, you know? It's just like, oh yeah, you see, you, nobody knows who you are, right? You've got no fucking clout, which means your criticism is invalid, you piece of shit. Now fuck off. It's clear that this guy is uh, referring to, you know, people who Ellen doesn't know as us. You know, the fucking peasants. It's such a bad fucking comeback, you know? You don't know who these people are? It just just means that they're just talking up to nonsense, all right? You know, the people who fucking opposed Hitler, all right? Nobody knows who they are, all right? Means that they are incorrect, all right? It's such a shit fucking comeback that makes absolutely no sense and just makes you look like an even bigger asshole. She's up in a high place and people love to take cracks when they got time. Oh yeah, look, mate, that makes perfect fucking sense, you know? People criticizing Ellen just have more time on their hands. It all makes sense now. You know, this is arguably a worse comeback, you know? Just saying that these people are just bored and have nothing to do, you know, just to justify how Ellen is a good person. You know, these people are bringing up, like, actual fucking evidence of how she's a shitty person and this guy's just going like, no, we don't know who you are and they're just, they're just doing this because they like to take cracks at people with power, all right? So is it people who are trying to get Jeffrey Epstein arrested just like fucking bored? Like, I'm fucking confused. In conclusion, I think Ellen should strive to be a better person, you know? Because it seems like she's a bit of a shitty person at the moment. Obviously, I have no problem with her being a complete asshole, you know? Sometimes people who are complete assholes are pretty funny, all right? But the fact that she goes around pretending to be, like, a super nice fucking person, like, pretending like she's fucking uh, gay Jesus or something, it just seems fake now. And it's just like people can see straight past you now, all right? You better change your ways, Ellen, or else you're probably, you, your career's probably already over. Oh no, where am I going to see my Ninja and Ellen videos from now on? Anyway, gamers, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed me bullying a 60-year-old lady. Thanks for coming along. I salute you. Stay safe. And yeah, farewell. I just want to let you know you're a stupid fucking cunt. Go ahead and run your mouth, pussy. I don't give a fuck. You're a stupid piece of shit. You're a stupid fucking bitch. Get the fuck up off my dick. Get the fuck up off my dick. Like, please, and your fucking life. Please, and your fucking life. I really gotta have